What up? YouTube. Early morning at it. I had to get it up early this morning. Yesterday I was supposed to finish the video, but I didn't. I went to the shop and got to working. And I was just doing too much shit. Trying to hold that damn camera at the same time. But I got the speaker pause wrap for the Monte Carlo. I got them in there. I got the speakers. I actually had to meet the customer. Drive way to Kentucky to go pick up three sets of six and a halves because I didn't want him to try to install them or a stereo shop to try to install them and fuck my shit up. So I just went and got them from him and I put them the uh, six and a halves in the door and I put the six and a halves in the um, in the console. Luckily I did do it because I had to modify a couple things on the on the um, speaker pods. I had to route the uh, the hole a little wider because the surround of the six and a half was a little bit bigger than what I thought it was going to be. And then I had to make it a little bit deeper. So I had to take it down damn near. And the three quarter inch board, I had to take it down damn near a half inch to get it to sink down in there because the surround of the six and a half was so damn thick. That's why I tell y'all when you doing those door speakers, you got to watch what kind of speakers you buy gonna be doing all kind of modifications. I try to make everything streamlined so that I can sell those parts to other people. But I got it fixed. So I'll be making a video today showing the whole complete tire. I fixed the crack in the dashboard because you did have a crack in there from a 40 caliber bullet. So I fixed that. I should have made a video about that. Most people don't know how I did that. Uh, and I died the dashboard last night before I left. So I'm making a video on the, on the blue Monte Carlo, the uh, the black and gold Chevelle. I mean not Chevelle, Cutlass. I got videos on that today too. So stay tuned. I got a couple of runs, I gotta go buy some speaker, speaker grill material. So I can finish the speaker grill. A couple other things. I'll get right back at you a little later. I holla. I'm sitting in the lab doing some shit for my girl to wake up. Smell these fumes. It's Fujiato. Together. I can't do this with one hand, so I'm about to hold it off.
in the shop late night, getting this Monte Carlo together. You see, it's coming. It's coming, y'all. It's coming. Got the doors in there good. Wrap the armrest. Got everything tied in. Got the dash fully dyed. Just put that middle section in right there. Got that wired up with the Ford Giato. Gotta do something about these speaker spots right here. Because the speakers he got is kind of too big. So the grills don't fit. So we gotta do something. But trying to get everything wired up. Running the speaker wires from the, the console speakers. Tapping them into the door speakers. And running them to the back. You can unscrew that, man. You might as well unscrew that and take that kick panel out if you got to. Because them, them don't, um, them, them seal plates got to come out. Yeah. But yeah, we're doing it. I have to call Big Mike in to help me out, man, because it's kind of hectic up here, man. I need help sometime. You see that? Put that third brake light in there. <clears throat> Took that big one out. <clears throat> you know, some of y'all use that big one still. This is complete custom. So we took that big one out of there. I'm about to show y'all how it light up. See that dust, but we're going to blow it off and clean it up before a customer comes. Hit that brake light. See? Yeah. Custom. Got the LEDs in the back. LEDs. Got the LEDs up there. We're doing a little something over here, man. We're getting it together. This car will be leaving tomorrow. But got everything going. Got the console lit up. Got the Forgiato. I gotta wire up the uh, the USB cord right there. I got a little gauge on there. But but it's coming, y'all. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm liking where it's headed. the LED on this side I still gotta take this right here these go to the LED I mean the uh, the USB so I'm gonna tap these in to where the old cigarette ladder plug used to be at and that should give me my power from the USB and that'll be all good for that gotta wipe it down got fingerprints on it and shit big fingerprint but for the yellow it's coming. I'm gonna put the center section in right there. I was gonna put a light up there, but I don't want to light. I ain't doing too much, man. I gotta spread my my spread my uh my ingenuity around the different cars. I can't do everything on one car. So next money car I do, I will put a light up there. Oh yeah, let me show y'all something. See that? Who got a Ford Auto cup holder? Nobody, baby. Yeah. So stay tuned till we clean this up. Yeah, I showed them. I showed them that. Yeah. So y'all, it's Deluxe here, man. We're getting it together. Stay tuned for the next one. I holla. Okay, y'all. You see the ghosts flying up in the air because it's so ghostly in this bitch. Yeah. There you go. That's how it's going to look at night. When he coming down your block, the Fogiato, the Monte Carlo. Just look like a spaceship in this bitch. Let me close this door, see what's going on. Mm. Woo, look at the dust flying off that bitch. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I turn this flash off. See what it look like. The flash off. Uh. Damn. You see it? You see it, baby. Another deluxe production, y'all. I'm tired as hell. I'm wrapping up. I need to change that light over there to a blue LED light over there. But uh. Y'all get the picture of what it's going to look like, YouTube. 
Deluxe and conquered another vehicle. True Blue is now 98% complete. And it's be up out this bitch tomorrow. I will make a video tomorrow when it's cleaned up outside so you can see it in the sun. But this is what it looked like at night. So, Deluxe is signing off from this bitch. Ahala.